6,000 people per day, credit is destroyed. That is the current rate of repossessions that we have in America every day. 6,000 repossessions every day. That is almost that's 180,000 cars per month that are being repossessed. Now to compare and contrast that, one to 1.3 million cars per month are sold. So it's very interesting because it is projected that the repo rate will hit eight to 10,000 cars per month. Now, if this is not an indication that the economy is tanking, I don't know what is. And, you know, a long time ago, my wife's car didn't get repoed. It got stolen. And that feeling when you walk out your house and find out that your car is gone, that is a ugly, ugly, ugly feeling. So it's very interesting because um, the CARES Act is what causes the run up in the price of cars. Because literally for two years, buying a used car, a new car has been an extraordinarily difficult process. And it's been an expensive process. But now what's going to happen? We're about to enter the fourth quarter next Saturday. What's going to happen first quarter 2023, there will be a flood of cars in the car market. If you need a car and if you can wait until 2023, you're going to be able to get a deal on a new car. You're going to be able to get a deal on a used car because what is currently happening is since everyone is addicted to this high payment rate in the used car market, the banks are putting their cars through the repo auctions with a heavy reserve and they're not selling. They're just not selling. So what's going to happen is because once again, 6,000 cars and that number is growing per day are being repoed in the United States of America. So let's say they go ahead and run it through the auction and doesn't happen. 30 days later, guess what? They have another 180 plus cars to run through the auction. So it's gonna to get to the point where they're just gonna stack up and stack up and stack up. It's gonna to get to the point where they're gonna have a fire sale. You, if you're a used car dealer, and if you can wait until maybe even, they may even start fire selling these cars in December because they're just stacking up, they're stacking up because um, this is going to create, and you know, if you're in the repossession business, business is booming and business is going to continue to boom for a while. And I feel, because I got another video, I'm going to get into more detail about this, but this is just another sign of how weak the economy is. It's just another sign because if you would look at what caused this bubble, it was, and you know, it's a, a devil on both sides. If they didn't do it, bad things would have happened. They did do it and bad things were happened. So you got to ask yourself, where are you going to be 24 months from now? Because if you are in the market for a car, trust me, if you can wait three months, you're going to get a good deal. But if you got to get some, you got to get some. You got to do what you got to do. But it is real interesting what is happening with the car market and how much it has shifted. Because I ran into a Toro host here in Atlanta. He's got 15 cars. And this was what he said. He said, business sucks. He's like, our, my utilization rate is getting worse and worse and worse. So this is from someone I just met and just chopped it up. I didn't even tell him what I did and everything. We were just talking and he's a Toro host and he's thinking about liquidating some of his cars. 
And I was like, and at that point, I shared to, with him that I used to rent out cars and I shared with him all of my bad experiences and he had similar things happen to him. So what's gonna happen with this flood of cars that's coming on the market? Um, Toro is already flooded and Airbnb is already flooded. And as we go for deeper into fourth quarter, the numbers are going to be quite bleak for car rentals, Airbnb stays, because I'm right now trying to liquidate my car fleet. And um, once again, I'm serious. I'm gonna give away that BMW. For, well, this is what you have to do. You have to send me a screenshot to the corporate trader and I'm gonna do a drawing probably next week and I'm just gonna give it to someone who's a supporter of the channel. So I've had a monster of a time selling these cars. And in my opinion, my opinion, these cars are not terribly expensive, in my opinion. Now, you know, what's expensive to me may not be, may be ridiculous because expensive to me is six figures for a car. That's when you start to get expensive. Anything less than that, that's kind of normal. And what we're seeing is that with this stimulus money, a lot of people went out and bought cars that they could not afford. So I really believe we're going to see eight to ten thousand dollar to eight to ten thousand cars repossessed per day in 2022 because the corporations are starting to lay off and as this thing starts to reach a crescendo because the fed has said hey we're going to keep uh, raising the basis interest rate we're going to keep doing that we're not going to stop doing that and i i want you guys to understand i want you guys to really really understand what is going on and your best defense is to not be in debt not to have car payment not to have credit card payment not to have student loan payments if in this economic cycle you can be debt free that is going to help you tremendously weather this storm which i feel once again this is just me i feel that we're about to go through a 10-year period of economic hell for people with jobs for people who are not trying to start businesses for people who are not trying to push upon this thing we're going to see a lot of economic pain but once again i'm just sitting here you know calling it like i see it because you know recently I sold them a car that I had a car payment on and I bought the car last year. It was like 45,000 and I've been paying on it aggressively where when I sold the car to CarMax for 35, I got to put 31,000 back in my pocket because I've been really paying off this car aggressively because it just didn't, you know, because they gave me like a 72 month loan, which was ridiculous. And every few months it was like, the length of your loan has been reduced by a year because I was paying it off so aggressively. And right now, I am back to where I feel comfortable. I don't have any credit card debt. I have no car debt. I, I have no personal debt. Now, I do have some business debt, which I don't even have to, I've been paying on it and I just gotta let, I don't have to really start paying onto this business debt until next year. And I've been paying consistently. So, what you want to do is if you feel that you are in jeopardy of getting your car repoed because i looked it up um they can repo after one missed payment but typically they'll wait until you're 60 to 90 days behind before they will come so this is going to create like credit repair which is something that I'm not going to do because I don't like the business. But if you want to get in credit repair, I want you to think 180,000 plus people per month are literally having their credit destroyed, destroyed. So if you want to 
come up, so to speak, and you can create a solution for these people, that's gonna be a growth industry because between the repos, between the credit card defaults, between the obligation defaults, and oh, we ain't even talked about foreclosures yet. All that's coming in 2023. And I'm just sitting here like, you know, cause like I said, I've been selling off my fleet. I am down to seven cars from 31. And it's taken me months to get here. Cause what I run into is people don't have money. And this is gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse. All right, so if you want the BMW, this is what you need to do. You need to go ahead and take a screenshot of being subscribed to the channel and tag me on Instagram at the corporate trader. And probably next Friday, I will do a drawing because next Friday will be the first and I want to start the month off with just six cars. Or you know, if I can't get anything else sold between now and next week. So you just do that and you'll be eligible for the drawing that I will do. And then I'm going to send out an email to everyone who has bought something and um, give them the same directions. Because, you know, I'm gonna start supporting the people who support me. So, once again, this is very, very nasty. Um, it's just a matter of time before the price of cars crash, of new cars, and now this is what's funny. Uh, I've been keeping track of cars and recently I just Googled the Porsche perimeter inventory and they have 11 911s. For months, they would only have one or two. So this is letting you know that from the top of the market to the bottom of the market, the market is coming back to normal because um, you know, something I was gonna do, uh, right now, there's certain models that are hard to get a hold of, like the Cabriolets. They're kind of hard to get a hold of. And I thought about, because my car is gonna be about 260, and they have a car that isn't specced out the way mine is specced out. It doesn't have the sports exhaust, it doesn't have the ceramic brakes. It's on the floor for 308. And I thought about, you know, I'm gonna keep watching the market. But my, my thoughts were to put an order in for another one and then sell it. But I don't think that's gonna work out because the market, because it literally it's gonna take a year to get another one. It's gonna take about a year to get another one. So I don't think at that time, these, these cars will be selling the way that they have been selling. And I have to be aware of that. But once again, if you want to make it through this crisis, and let's, let's not even miss words, it is a crisis. You want to be as debt free as possible. Now I'm not talking about if you have debt on a cash flowing asset, a business, a piece of property. And when I say cash flowing, I'm not talking about you got a piece of property and your mortgage is 1600 and you're gonna rent it out for 1700 to me that's not cash flowing that's that's treading water essentially you want to be in a position where if your mortgage is 1600 you can charge 1700 and you can slide 700 bucks in your pocket so you're able to pay your property taxes and other expenses associated with that rental because you know I see a lot of foolishness on the internet with this getting in the real estate game. There's so many people who want to get in the real estate like tax liens. Um, I actually went ahead and did some research. You know how many houses are coming up on a tax lien in Sandy Springs? Zero. <laughs> so these tax lien certificates are in areas that aren't doing that well, aren't booming and they're not highly desirable. So you're not gonna get like really nice properties in these tax liens. Cause you see all of this stuff about tax liens, tax liens, yeah, you can get a house. And for many years, you could buy a house in Detroit or off the market for two to $5,000. Just get a renter in there, but you only get a renter in there for four or 500 bucks a month. So you gotta be careful with that kind of stuff because yes, you can go get this house for thousand bucks 
and let's say you got 20 of them and you can rent them out for 600 bucks per month. 29,600 is 12,000 bucks per month. Then you have the obligation of taxes. So that's not a clean $12,000 per month. So once again, you know, you, you gotta be really, really careful on the opportunities that you wanna take up, take part of in this economic climate. So I got some new training that's gonna start off in October. And if you want it, go ahead, go ahead and below and get the, the program and you will be able to get this new training. And October, that's gonna change because I'm going to actually make some big changes coming October. So if you want the new training, you wanna go ahead and get in the program right now. Link will be in the first comment, or if I forget, it will be in the description. So I will see you guys in the next one.